Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, beautiful day here. It's cool, got a nice breeze blowing. It's a good day to do some shiplap. So we've already started the ship lap. Um, you can see here's what we've got done so far. And uh, today I'm going to work on doing this wall right here. Now I've gone ahead and cut these boards to the length that I want them. What I'm going to do, put this up here. make a little mark where I'm going to drill my countersunk holes and then I'll screw them directly into the wall into the stud here <laughs> Last piece. Well, last piece for now. I still got to trim all these boxes out. Just not sure what color we're going to do yet. So, all right, everybody, getting ready to ship lap the big wall here. So, what I've done was I took and I cut a bunch of pieces to go up this side and I cut them the right width until I got you know up to wherever they fell up here and then I just measured from the bottom of this edge up which was three inches and then I cut the bottom piece off three inches so what will happen is is this last piece will fall just like this so that I can continue one long piece along the uh, wall there. I learned that from that last, the back wall, because the back wall, I didn't really, I didn't know to do that. I didn't think to do that. And so I made my, I made my life a lot harder, but you live and you learn. So, Hey guys, just a couple of tips I wanted to share with you while the time lapse is going first. Make sure that you've got a piece of, of your floor laying around a scrap piece and put that between the subfloor and where you're starting your wall. I actually <clears throat> put the, uh, the flooring down and a piece of a quarter inch ply wood uh, just to give myself a little bit of an extra gap there. That way I'm not struggling to get my floor under these walls once I get ready to put it all in. Um, also, I, I feel it's kind of important to uh, to liquid nails as much of this as you can um, because being in a moving bus, I just don't want to take the chance of, of any of it shaking loose over time. Uh, the screws are going to hold it in, you know, and then once the, the glue sets, you know, those screws are kind of uh, 
just going to be there for support. Also, when you're screwing the uh, these in, don't screw them down super tight. Don't bear down on them because um, if you do, you'll you'll wind up cracking your board. Uh, you know, ultimately, it's the glue that's going to be holding all this stuff up. So, uh, also, when you're cutting this uh, shiplap, it's better to cut it a a tiny bit short when you're installing it. Um, you don't want the shiplap to stick out to um, what they call proud uh, over the edge because eventually you we're going to put an end cap on that and we want that end cap to sit flush um, up against that two by four that we installed so if it's proud that end cap's not really going to um, sit flush it's kind of going to be wavy and if it's uh you know if you cut it a little shorter then it'll sit flush and you can always cover that up with trim All right, guys, here we go. So, figured out how to do this. So basically, what you do is you take a piece of wood and you put up here, and then you take another piece of wood and you put out, you get it lined up with this. But the top here and you strike a line right here that's step number one make sure you get it tight you strike a line just like that you're going to take that same piece of wood and you're just going to draw a straight line from the bottom of that line up to the top corner of course you got to make sure there you know the wood you cut is square and you got to make sure that the two pieces of wood are the same size and then you get you go to your saw and you cut that angle you find that angle with your miter you do a couple of test cuts until you get it perfect here's how my trim should fit whenever I put it, whenever I do it on the trim. I'm just doing test cuts right now, but that's how it should fit. Looky there, looky there. Now let's do this angle. So just like before, we set it, set the block up. Okay. Draw a line. these templates because I have walls that are kind of the, sim the same I mean uh, cubbies that are kind of the same angle so I want to be able to keep this and so let's go see if it fits and then if it fits I've already got got that 52 cut here I just need to cut a 40 over here but I need to get an exact measurement too, so. All right. What you guys think? That's our box.
Now I'm just gonna take my finger and lick it and smooth this squeeze out. Okay. Well, that took about two hours and we only have two, three, four, five more to go. Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing YouTube? Well, uh, this weekend's gonna be a little something different. You know, we've been working hard on that bus for a while. We just, uh, not too long ago, pulled up to my family's house. Um, last year, my dad passed away uh, unexpectedly. And um, so we're starting a tradition where every year the family gets together. I cook ribs and my sister's bringing some food, but tonight uh, I'm just preparing the barbecue so that, and I'm gonna go ahead and cook it and cool it down. And then tomorrow I'll throw it uh, in a uh, tightly wrapped foil, put it in the oven. They've got a log cabin out here in the woods. Got about 15 acres, come on. Let's go check it out. And so you can see that we're we're cooking some some pork up. We got uh, four racks of ribs, and we got about 20 chicken thighs. One of my brothers is here, Shelton, and his kids. Say so, hey, hey YouTube. And we got all the dogs out here. There's my brother right there. Say hey to YouTube, Shelt. How's it going? Everybody meet Shelton. How you this doing? This is the uh, the good looking one of the family. I he got all even. the looks. Don't even. <laughs> There's Stephanie, my girlfriend, and little Tybee. The boys. So tonight, yeah, yeah, we, we, we met. And we got Bear here. So tonight we're gonna to sit out here in beautiful nature next to the uh, next to the creek and all the all the nice beautiful property and uh, we're we're smoking some ribs. Oh, got another member of the family we want you to meet. That's uh, Mr. Black Bear there. All right, we'll see you in a second. This is Caitlin, so this is uh, one of the ladies of the house, Shelton's wife. Fiance. Fiance. <laughs> and here's here's Queen B right here. Who's that? This is the mama. YouTube. Robin. Who's that? This is YouTube, say hello. Hi. We're gonna do a first flip on these delicious All right, everybody, it's a new day. We got baked beans throwing down in the kitchen. Can Stephanie's over her there. Eating her essential oils. Eating her essential zymes. <laughs> her young living. Everybody meet my sissy, Hi. Lindsay. And we're, we're about to cook some of this chicken. We got ribs already done in the oven. Uh, heating up <laughs> Waiting on all the family to get here, so Hey Uncle Harvey, thank you so much for that uh, that great blessing as usual You know it's such a blessing being able to share times like this with with your family uh, We all live in different parts of the country, so it's 
really hard for us all to get together. You know, when we get together like this every year, uh, it's really a celebration of life for my dad. Um, he created so many memories uh, with the family, getting together, barbecuing. And so this is really a happy time. I'd like everybody that's watching this video to take a, a few moments and send a kind word to a loved one. Grab somebody that you love, give them a hug, give them a kiss on the cheek. Let them know how much that, that you care about them. Trust me, one day you'll wish that you had given more kisses and love and hugs and kind words um, to your loved ones. It's also very important to be kind to yourself. Tell yourself every morning how much you love yourself. You are the most important person on earth. Without you loving yourself, and I don't mean in a prideful way, but in a joyful way, without loving yourself, you'll never be able to fully love others. So thank you so much for making it this far in the video and sharing this uh, special day with me and my family.